You're home too hot in the summer? It may be that your attic is overheated. Stay tuned and I'll give you some advice. It's important to keep the attic in your home ventilated and cool. It will help your air conditioner cycle off and on and actually give you the indoor temperature that you want to achieve. On newer homes, they've actually eliminated these power fans and they've gone to a passive system called a ridge vent. It works fairly well. But if your home is over 10 years old, chances are it came with one of these attic ventilating fans. The problem came about during many of these storms we've had lately where roofers have replaced the roofs and they've taken these fans off and they've put these new ridge vents on and told homeowners that the ventilation would work fine. Well, it doesn't. The home was designed to use a power fan and with the removal of that fan, we find many homes just can't get down below 80 degrees. So the idea is to go back with a good power assisted fan It'll exhaust the hot air out of your attic. It'll pull cool air in under the soffit and keep your attic down below 105, 110 degrees. It'll save money on your cooling bill. It'll give you the indoor temperatures that you're looking for. And overall, you'll find that your home will be much more comfortable than it would be without one of these ventilator fans. These are easy to install. They're cut into the roof. They're power driven. They have a thermostat on them. They come on at anywhere from 105 to 110 degree temperature. And in the hotter parts of the United States, in the southern climates, these are almost a must. Consider adding one of, these, one of these to your homes if you don't have one now. If you like our video, leave a comment below. And for a new home care video every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like us and share this video with all your friends. And as always, if you need a professional, check out our website or call us at Reliable Heating and Air.